Hello everyone, thank you for joining and I do have some bad news to begin the day with. Unfortunately, there is not going to be this week in Stupid release today. Um, because uh, my cat has managed to run away this beautiful ha 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 sienda. And I spend the entire day going on other people's private property, trampling all over their lawns as I try to apprehend the cat. And uh, in the end I have managed to do so, but Unfortunately, I don't really have that much time left to edit the video and release it in a timely manner. As such, I'm going to release it tomorrow. And today we're going to be talking about something very interesting that has happened. And uh, maybe I'll ask you guys for an advice. You see, uh, my fiancé, as most of you guys probably know, uh, doesn't speak English very well, which is why she doesn't appear on this channel. And she doesn't know a lot about American culture. She doesn't know what Republicans are. She doesn't know what the Democrats are. She doesn't know what the American Constitution is. And this is not because she isn't a smart woman, because she definitely is. She is a doctor, like Ben Shapiro's wife. But the problem is that she has never shown any interest in it. And uh, recently, she was watching a lot of Netflix. And Netflix is very different uh, both than Hollywood, as well as than Romanian entertainment. And one of the key differences is, and this is quite startling, I mean, a conservative Christian woman, like my fiancé, uh, has managed to notice this, that every single Netflix show needs to have LGBT representation. And if you think about it, you can't really name a lot of Hollywood movies. In fact, you probably can't name a single Hollywood blockbuster film that has LGBT representation. But it's very difficult to name any Netflix shows that doesn't. And this has to do with the fact that China pays the homophobia tax. And uh, if you want your movie to be screened in China, you have to listen to the Chinese censors, right? So it's all about profits. It's about money. But to me, it was about explaining this situation to my fiancé, who didn't really understand. Like, she asked, uh, are there a very high number of LGBT people in the United States? Because she didn't know that many in real life, but the overwhelming majority that she knew were from television on Netflix. So, um, explaining this to her was actually more difficult than I imagined, especially since... Um, Part of my job is to constantly talk about things related to culture, especially American culture. So it was quite difficult to explain because I wanted to make a good job at it. Like, I, I didn't want to just give her a random answer. Uh, she did go online and she looked for this. And apparently uh, she found things connected to Marxism. But for Eastern Europeans like myself and her... Marxism is something economical in nature that's connected to the working class. And she doesn't understand, like, what does the working class have to do? Uh, and the way I explained it to her is that the people who are calling the shots at Netflix, the overwhelming amount of them are white men who also happen to be atheist in their religion. And most people in the world want to be viewed as good people. And a Christian person, in order to show to others that they're good, is going to do acts of charity. They're going to donate to the homeless. They're going to try to help the poor. Uh, they're going to try to give soup to the people that don't have anything to eat. They're going to donate money to orphanages. That, that's what good Christians do. But what do you do when you're an atheist? Because you still want to show to the world that you're a good and you're a decent person. So... What these rich white guys are doing is that they want to be viewed that in a world that is filled with bigotry and racism, they are the exception. So everyone else is a bad person, but not they. They are the good type of people. And in order to show that they are the good type of people and they're not racist and bigots, they go out of their way in order to show this by, by casting the, the roles of, uh, for example, people of color in specific uh, places where uh, a historical white person should have been casted. 
Like the BBC, for example, they, they casted uh, a black actress to play a white queen. Right? This is done in order to show that these people aren't racist. But at the same time, Netflix, as well as the BBC, even though the BBC gets money from, ta uh, fr from uh, the state through paying your license, it still has people working there that want big wages, that want a lot of money. So they're not going to donate money to charity, right? Because they still want to make money for themselves. They still want to hoard that cash. Same with the people at Netflix. It's still a business. They want to make a lot of money. So instead of like actually hope, helping marginalized community, instead of actually donating money to just causes and trying to end homelessness and wealth disparity and whatnot, they view it as a lot more easy and more simple to do these performative acts that don't really help anyone besides, well, maybe the actor that happens to get a job. But either than that, no one gets any benefit from this. But in their social circle, surrounded by their other rich white peers, they are viewed as being less racist. They are viewed as being the good type of people because they're changing society through their movies by creating positive fictional characters, uh, which happen to, to have like various identities that um, they consider to be marginalized. She didn't understand the thing from what I was explaining. So it's very difficult. I, I, I really don't know how else to explain it to her. Because, again, like she uh, watched a lot of Hollywood movies. And, and she didn't see that same level of representation. Um, she watched Romanian films. And now, you know, like on Netflix, it's really weird. Because, again, like she... Uh, assumes that it's like a huge, a massive percentage of the American population that um, is uh, in the closet, as you would say, or, or maybe they're out. I don't know, but uh, I, I did try my best, okay? Like that that was my, my best attempt uh, to explain it to her. As for Hollywood, it, it was a lot simpler to explain. Uh, why uh, you don't see uh, representation in big motion picture films. It's because, well, you know, like if you want to send in China, China is a very conservative nation with uh, uh, heteropatriarchal values. And when I said those words, she was yet again lost. It's like, heter what, what does heterotive patriarchy? What? You mean like the patriarchy, like in the Orthodox Church? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, very, it's very difficult. Um but it was a fun conversation to be had uh, nonetheless. Um, still, and, and I want to make absolutely sure, like, it's, it's not that uh, she found it a bad thing or anything like that. It's just like, it was weird. She, she was pointing it out that it's like, what, why is this so different than all the other types of entertainment that I've seen? Like, what, 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 what's happening here? So, yeah, that's pretty much how I managed to explain it. Um, hopefully she's not going to watch Eurovision, because then I'll probably have to have the conversation again. Al although I think I could actually do better with Eurovision, because there was this massive scandal in Romania a couple of years ago, and I'm pretty sure she must have heard about it. Um, there was this um, teenage girl who was singing at a church choir, and she had an absolutely amazing voice. She managed to completely captivate the public. And everyone was rooting for her. People were voting for her. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the judges decided that she is not going to advance in the competition because of opinions she has posted on social media saying that she supports the traditional marriage. I know it's very shocking that a girl who goes to church and sings in the choir supposed, supports traditional marriage, but she wasn't being promoted and um, a lot of people were upset because they said like what does her opinions have to do with her singing qualities and the answer is nothing but the the people in the jury the the judges wanted to be viewed as great and excellent people who say no to bigotry and they change society by Forcing others not to be bigots because you never know when you might be the uh, um, participant of a singing competition. Uh, and that's why she didn't get the place. 
Um, and instead it was another actress, which I believe was actually LGBT. I, I, I don't know. But like um, that, that was the story. So maybe I can try going with that. What do you guys think? Huh? Uh, she might actually understand that one a little bit better. Um, as for my camera, like I, I notice a lot of people point out that it's glitching and whatnot. Uh, as soon as I manage to get a little bit of cash, because I'm saving right now, I'll buy a better camera. It's the software that I'm using, which I already paid for, and it's more expensive than the camera. So between changing the software that I've been used for so long to changing the camera, it's a lot cheaper and more easy for me to just uh, buy a new camera. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.